Hey guys, Gabriel from One Piece Toad and today I have another video for you. This time it's another 20th anniversary One Piece figure. So, starting with the box, we have our usual merchandising logo, our 20th anniversary logo. We then have side one, side two, the back, the bottom, and the top with the all important Terry sticker. So, here she is, and as usual, I've taken off the base just because I think it doesn't really add anything, and she's fairly solid on the floor by herself. Now, Nico does come with one accessory which is this hand which reaches out and it actually goes on and it at the right height to be petting Chopper's head which leads to Chopper's alternate head where he's looking kind of blissed out and I also fortunately due to the order I've got these figures in I do have the alternate Nico head which I'll be putting on in a second so let's take a quick look around starting at the bottom the first thing I notice is these boots have a really nice glossy finish to them that's really nice and we have sort of like these these iridescence I think is the right word there on the hand, the bands. Again, the gold is quite plain, but there is, there is a nice touch. Again, that other boot. And as of course, we all have a coat. She's lacking a lot of blue, which is something both Nami and Robin both lack blue for some reason. This must be an artist or choice. But we still have a nice textured coat, and this coat is actually removable. So, quick look at that. But we'll keep that off for now, just so we can take a look and see. We do have sculpted sleeves there too. So you can see the lines, sculpted into her jumper there, some nice flow to her hair, some further gold chains, again nice hair down the front. These glasses I don't believe are removable, wouldn't test it, but she does have a nice portrait but I do, I do enjoy the smiling portrait so I think I'll be putting that on. So let's quickly swap that over. So here's her alternate portrait and as you can see it puts her head at a slight tilt so the glasses look slightly off and it sort of pushes some of her hair back. What you do is pop the hair off, take the head out, put the new head in, and pop the hair back on. I like this portrait, but I like having characters that look happy in the display. And here also is a swap out arm, and obviously you just sit chopper here, and that's at the perfect height to be petting his head. And there she is with her coat back on. So let's get some measurements. She is actually just taller than Usopp at 3.5 inches, about 9 centimeters. Her width from one side of her legs to the other, which is about... 10, 10 half centimeters, about 4 inches, and she's about 3.5 inches with this hand sticking out here, and it's because it's just beyond her knees here, which is about 8 centimeters. Here she is on a bit of shelf by herself. Here she is next to 1 eighth Jotaro Kujo, and here she is next to 1 sixth Jotaro. So she is quite a small and basic piece, but what I like about her is she tells a story the way she interacts with Chopper the fact she's got an exchange of arm, an exchangeable face, the fact you can remove that jacket, the nice shading on her boots on her, on her hand rings there, on her bracelets even, and then there's some nice sh shading in the turtle neck, although it is covered up by the coat. I think it's all quite nicely put together. I think this is a really nice piece, and although it's basically done, the paint isn't the most astounding thing in the world. I think they've done a good job at the price point and at the painting level that they've got. So I'm actually quite impressed with this piece for a nice little cheap piece. So thank you guys for watching, I'll see you all in the next one.